Hey Arnold, my name is Jared. Uh, Esperanza had spoke to you here and she did say that you said you were tight on money and the business. Um, I'd like to hear more about that, right? Because that's kind of what we specialize in helping with. We really want to help uh, get small businesses back on their feet. The reason why we got into this is because of COVID. Um, you know, I have a my own small construction business that I run. So, you know, I feel the pain, right? So I'm just out here trying to help uh, any way I can. So if there's some way that we could defer some of the expenses um, for down the road just so that we can get working together. I'm very interested in trying to help small businesses that have, you know, that are real people trying to run a real business, right? Um, so that's that's kind of why we want to talk about this. But Google gets 63,000 searches per second. So all we're trying to do is get you in front of people who are already using the Google search engine, right? So people are already using it. People already trust them. And so when you think about it, when somebody searches in Google and the people, the websites that pull up at the top, that gives them some credibility, right? Having Google kind of be a vouch or a ref referral, so to speak, um, showing that you are somebody trusted is very, very valuable. So we're just going to kind of dive in here, talk about your website and a competitor, uh, and just kind of explain a couple of things about getting ranked and the kind of benefits that we can see from it, right? So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, so what we can see here on your website is just a very small homepage, right? So the first thing that I would like to tell you about is uh, get content on this homepage. This image is saved as cars. We'll save that for a minute. Get content on this homepage. We want to find out what kind of keywords you are uh, targeting, which kind of services are people actually searching for when they're looking for your website, um, and then how do we get found by those searchers. Uh, so let's go ahead. So first thing, build out the content. You have to talk about things. You have to say it in word format. And then in the picture format of things, you need to name those pictures, and again, in words, so that that way Google can recognize what it's about, right? They don't know what the picture is. They know what you set, uh, saved it as. So let's go ahead and find a competitor, right? So um, let's go ahead and look in here. All right, so what I went ahead and did is just search BMW Auto Parts OEM. Um, obviously, it would be much more beneficial for you to be searching or to be catching people who are searching in your area. Um, but with, you know, the niche that you're in, I'm, it's hard to really know how much search volume there really is. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and start with kind of a nationwide company here. So you can see, again, their front page here is built out with content. All of the descriptions are on there. They went ahead and threw up a handful of parts um, on the home page just to have more content. And then here's a bunch more content, right? So let's see. Save image. Nope. So that's just the part number. Looks like the part number, um, you know, which is good to have, right? It's good to have that part number in there, but you also want to have, you know, the word of what it is, the location where you are at, um, the name of your company, things like that need to be in every single photo as you add things to the website. Uh, and feel free to use your competitor websites for inspiration too, right? Uh, these people have put in a lot of money and time into designing these websites and to building them the way that uh, they believe is going to convert traffic. Uh, so go ahead and copy these kinds of things. But what we want to do is we want to take this and punch it into this uh, tool. It's called AREFs. Move this here again. You can see that full AREFs up here at the top corner is what it's called. So what we're doing is we're searching this website right here is the auto, I don't know how to say that, howsaz.com. But then this is the actual page that we're on is this backslash BMW auto parts, right? So BMW parts, 34,000 people search that each month. These guys are ranked number four for that word and they're getting almost 3,000 people onto the website. So BMW Parts Online, 6,000 search. Uh, nearly 1,200 people are actually coming to their website because they're ranked number two, oops, number two right there. Um, so let's go, just go through here and just see, you know, so this one would be a bad one right here, this auto Haas near me, parts store, OEM. Yep, so all of those would be great keywords. Then right here, like I had said, these are the search volume that people are actually trying to find those things. This is how hard it is to rank. So without having a, an actual name of the town, the location, the state, something to help narrow down that search results, it is going to be quite competitive, right? So there is some competition here that we're going to be having to go up against um, if we don't narrow down to a local search. So if you search for um, something in Florida, right? No, California, opposite side of the country. Um, so if you search something in California, that is going to bring you um, something a lot more local, which is going to be a lot less competition, right? So let's go ahead and look. But these are the kinds of car parts we really want to be targeting, you know, because you are kind of a, 
an online based uh, business. So right here you can see BMW Parts Arizona, much, much lower um, competition, right? So these are all in the 60s and 70s. There's a 40, 50. These are out of 100, and this is a 6 because we threw in the word Arizona, right? Much smaller uh, search volume, but it gives you the opportunity to get in front of these folks um, much easier by targeting those lower um, difficulty keywords. So we go ahead and do that research for you, help you find a lot of those keywords, um, but it really just has to start with a conversation about you and your business and the things that you guys offer so we can kind of help you hone in on who we can get in front of. So right here, this is, um, once you get found, oops, one second. So right here, uh, once you get found for the keywords, right, you're getting found for 144 keywords, you're getting 125 people total to your website each month organically through the searches that they do. Uh, so what we want to talk about is how do we outrank those, right? So right here, your backlinks are going to be skewed because you're going to reach out to a website and you're going to post, you know, one, 200 different parts on it or something like that. So that um, that's going to be normal for you. But you have 68 other websites you're reaching out to. It is going down. You can see it used to be um, 71. Overall, you used to have 167. So that's why this is a campaign. We do need to have to, we just have to stay on top of this because these things fall off. Websites get updated um, and, you know, things go out of date. So you have to stay on top of that. Make sure all of your links are staying updated. Right here, this 2.9 is going to be the overall score for your whole website. And this 5 right here is the overall score for your home page because that's the actual URL that I punched in at the top, right? So this URL right here is the green number. Your actual whole home page with all the linking between the pages is only a 2.9. So let's jump into your keywords and see what you're getting found for. So right here at the top, a German, German auto wrecking, so San Jose, so you're getting found for your name quite a bit. So German auto parts near me. You know, I'm not a big car guru, um, just being full, fully honest here. Um, but so I don't know if that would be somebody searching your name, auto dismantlers, or if there actually is a market for um, German auto parts. But it does look like people are searching these things, right? So we want to find out how can we get your website ranked for these and how can we get you put towards the top of this list. So BMW Parts, San Jose, um, Wreckers, San Jose. So any of these words that have San Jose in them, those are going to be the things that we want to target. This right here is actually straight your name, A German, Auto, San Jose. So that's somebody searching for you, right? So only 20 people are doing that, but you are ranked number one, right? So you're getting eight people to your website who are looking for you for a phone number to give you a call. Um, but that's not really what we want to target, right? You've already done that work. We want to target these other people who don't know you, who need your services. So you can see right here, German Auto Parts San Jose. We're going to go ahead and search that in Google. And we're just going to kind of talk about a couple of things. So you can see it literally, Google thinks that I'm searching for you, uh, right? So Google pulled up you, Google pulled up your GB, GMB right here, but it did not pull up a list of competitors uh, because it thinks that I'm searching directly for you. I've already been on your website. Sorry, that's my little girl. But um, So I've already been on your website, and I'm, it thinks I'm trying to look for you specifically. So these kinds of keywords are going to be great if, if there is a market for this. You're already getting found for it, right? But we want to find all of the different kinds of keywords, you know, Prius, Mini Cooper, the, all the different things, and then kind of teach you how to be posting these things um, you know, so that you know how to do these yourself. But I do want to find just one of these. So we're going to look for, all right, so here we went ahead and punched in Auto Parts San Jose. So you're going to be competing with O'Reilly, uh, San Jose Auto Body Parts right there is a good example of somebody using the keywords. You know, it used to be in a phone book, you put in AAA, uh, so you're at the top, right? So now it's naming your business, the actual words people type into Google is the new um, how to get put at the top of the list, right? So getting a G GBR, GMB um, that is, you know, named those certain things. Otherwise, how we do this is we rank these with citations. So going out and getting your name, address, and phone number on as many directories that Google trusts already um, is going to be a very good way to help raise those rankings. And then on top of that, we want to get those reviews up. So you can see these two guys have, um, you know, a lot of reviews. And then this one, you know, not so much, but these are going to be the ones we really want to focus on. So there's two opportunities here, right? Well, three, four, if you really want to get crazy, but so you can put an ad here at the top. Nobody's running ads at the top. 
that could be for two reasons. It might just be expensive. It might just be that people in this industry um, don't view it as, you know, worthwhile. You know, it's hard to know if you don't try, right? But if you wanted to go ahead and throw up an ad there, you could do that very easily. Throwing an ad right here in the map pack would be great um, because that's going to help get your actual, you know, pin up here, help mark that for anybody searching in the area. So anybody searches near me or one of these, you know, close by, um, you know, like Cupertino, Sunny Valley, Sunny Vale, so stuff like that. Those kinds of keywords are also going to help bring up your GMB then too. What we actually specialize not only in ranking a, you know, a GMB, but we also specialize in just ranking a website. So you can see here that O'Reilly's is sitting at top, Yelp, CarQuest, NapaOnline.com. So, you know, ranking these organically is going to take a lot of time. It's going to be a very long-term strategy. Um, so it might be more beneficial for you to look towards, you know, just doing Google AdWords, doing Facebook ads, um, Instagram ads, YouTube, things like that, because we can target your local area for people who are searching how-to videos. You know, I'm not a big Instagram user, but we have a guy that's a specialist in that as well. So, you know, those are the kinds of things that I think would be more beneficial for you to target in the short-term gain, but the long-term play you know, trying to be around for five, ten more years, you're going to want to get your website to start to rank and really pick up keywords as much as possible, you know, through the months and years moving forward. All right, I know I went a little long on that. Um, you know, whenever somebody brings up that they're short on money and stuff, I feel, you know, a little bit more obligated to give you a little more value uh, for your time that you chose to spend with me. So, you know, I really appreciate you sticking with me and listening to, you know, all the... Th th <laughs> There she is, but uh, I really appreciate you sticking with me and listening to everything I had to say here. Um, you know, my name is Jared. My phone number is 402-515-7222. Um, you know, Arnold, if you'd like to give me a call, you know, just shoot the shit or talk some more about this, please do. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much.